Chazar, everybody. Welcome to another Fallout video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build the inset wall that I used for my uh, compound wall last build that I did, the 40k inspired build, because uh, people on YouTube have been asking it, and it's a lot easier to show you how I made it than to just tell you how I made it in a YouTube comment, if you get what I mean. It's a lot easier to just show than it is to tell. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the wall, here it is. It's a nice inset uh, with a standard wall because uh, it was based on a design someone had used for a actual game piece on the 40k uh, tabletop But as they would say on Blue Peter here is one I prepared earlier And as you can see I've set it up similar to the uh, way that I would actually have the wall for my actual build done Now the reason I've used the doors is because they float if you accidentally grab one of the floor pieces and move it That's the only reason uh, So the way you want to start this off is pretty simple the middle floor, which is going to be your inset, just grab it by holding X and then pull back on the joystick. It'll turn red and that's because if you notice the shadow from where it was previously does not line up with where it is now. Now, once you've managed to get into the position you want, here's the most important thing. Check your fit. Now, you want to make sure that you've got this positioned further away than you normally would because you're not snapping the inset wall to this, depending on the design of the inset wall, you're actually snapping it to the other side. Now, depending on the inset wall you use, I'm using this corrugated one, so I want the corrugation on the outside. Um, I have to snap it to a second wall, uh, second floor, which I will put in right now. Now, once I've done this, check my fit. Biggest thing, because when you're done and you go to look at it, if it's off a little bit, you have to do this all over again. But when I put down the uh, corrugated wall, I want to check the design, make sure it's not snapping in too far or too close or whatever, and it's nice and straight. And then I'll put down the second part of the corrugated wall and check it with the floor above. If it's clipping through, which I don't want it to do, I'll simply grab the original uh, floor, move it out a little bit, move it down a little bit, and then rinse and repeat. Put the floor back down because that's the one that we're snapping to. And then, of course, put down the uh, corrugation. Now, when I check... I can check with the walls on either side, or I can use the thin black strip of the concrete floor to actually make sure that I'm lining up. But once I've put that down, you can see it's nice and flush. You can even see the floor uh, underneath, but it's not it's not clipping through. So there we go. All I want to do then is I want to make sure that everything's in the position I want it to, and I want to then get a flame trap. What I want to do is remove the top wall only, because these are half walls, and then use a uh, the flame trap to destroy this. Now the reason I'm using the half wall is because I'm doing the corrugation. You can use a full wall. All you got to do is basically follow this design step up to the point where you put the wall in and just use a door, a door wall, and then you know fun. But this is for the corrugated one that people are asking. Then what I do is I store everything and I reset back to the beginning. And basically, Bob's your uncle finds your aunt. I repeat the thing over again, always making sure to check my fit. Now, when you are actually pulling the floor out by holding X and pulling back on the analog stick, it might seem like it's not moving. Don't worry, just stick with it for a little bit and you'll get it. Uh, and once you've actually pulled it out far enough, you can actually stand on it and move it, so it's a lot easier to line stuff up, but I still, you know, I, I have weird ways of building sometimes. Uh, but then, of course, check my fit. The biggest point of this entire thing I'm going to tell you is check your fit, because, uh, once again... When it comes to checking on the full thing once it's finally built, you'll notice one little thing that's out of position and you'll have to do it all over again. Uh, and then, of course, put down the... Because I'm doing corrugated, put down my corrugated stuff. And I don't actually mind the fact that the doors clip into the wall. It's a nice aspect of the design that I kind of like. It adds a nice angular a bottom to it. Uh, and who doesn't like a nice angular bottom? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, but once that's done, once again, destroy the wall. Only the bottom wall, just remove the top wall, don't worry about it. And then reset back to the nice, long, thin uh, foundation that you had. Go over to your actual camp placement and repair. Just repair, you'll be fine. And you'll notice that you've got your insect corrugates walls back. Well, hey, All you want to do then is go back into build mode, go back to your half walls that you're using and put them in because the game will just accept them. It. It'll be like, yeah, mate, awesome. And once that's done, check with your roof fit to make sure everything's fine and you're pretty much done. All you got to do then is change the uh, walls uh, from doors to whatever you want it to. Now, of course, you could do a lot of different things with this. Uh, one thing that I realized you could do with this last time but never actually tried is you could turn this corrugated wall into a garage or a storage unit or something like that as an actual design. So if you want to make an insect garage uh, roof uh, wall, in fact, not a roof, uh, there you go. You can actually do that. It would probably be fun with a little red rocket build or something like that. But that's it. That's pretty much how you want to do it. And once I'd finished doing this, I realized you can actually build something else. So if you remove the stairs and the floor, put down some roofs, put down an exterior staircase at the bottom, 
you could have a little capsule house, um, which would be kind of fun. Or if it's blueprintable, which I didn't check, sadly, uh, you could have a quick snap down kind of base with everything that you need in it. And it takes up no room just for doing stuff like a queen or something like that instead of snapping down a, a, a survival tent. But there you go. You can actually do a lot more than I realized you could do with it originally. And uh, you can have fun with it. Just do whatever you want. But you now know how to make an inset wall. It does work with other walls. Now, the way I showed you is for half walls. If you wanted to do with a full wall, simply do the steps up to the point where you put down the second floor to snap the wall to, and then put down a full-sized door wall, uh, rotating it whichever way you want, and then Bob's your uncle finds you around, you're done. Just do it on the other side. Voila. But this is for the half walls. Uh, but there you go, that's how you do it. It's, it's a lot of fun to do. You can have some wacky fun times with it. You can change however you want. Uh, but there you go. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video, as I have, and uh, you guys know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. But until the next time, stay awesome.